All right, so here's what the week looked like. I put career down because I got a job rejection from a job that I kind of think that I had a decent shot at, and I didn't even get an interview, and it's kind of disheartening, and it's really put me back to, like, square one as far as figuring out, like, what I want to do at all in this entire world for money. But on the upside, I've been gaining some valuable information. So I've been teaching this one clarinet student at this music store a couple towns over, and it's been going pretty well, actually. Um, but yesterday, the owner of the store calls me up and asks me to come in and work a shift at the cash register of the actual store, which I had no idea how to do at all. I, I've never worked a retail job at all. Um, but I said yes, because I figured I hadn't done anything like that before. Might as well give it a go. I did not like it. I'm not working retail ever again. Not a career path for me. But here's another thing. That clarinet student that I have, right, he actually goes to the same middle school that I went to. So I emailed my middle school teacher saying, hey, can I come in and visit? I can maybe, like, work with the kids. And she had me coming in right away. So I went in, like, three times in the past week and just helped out with the, uh, with the saxophones and the clarinets kind of did little sectionals with the uh, the seventh grade bands. And it was pretty good. It was pretty okay. She was very grateful for the help, so that was nice that I was able to help her out. Um, so I think I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, I'm not getting paid for it or anything, but I, I think I like doing it. So that's a good sign. So here's another one, friends. It was a very average week as far as friendships go. I talked to some people that I like to talk to. I didn't talk to some people that I like to talk to. Eh, eh, eh. The problem is that uh, because I'm not in college anymore, it's difficult for me to make new friends to just go out and... Because in college, everyone is just right there. You're like living together and taking classes together. And uh, without that anymore, I'm just kind of like left to drift around, uh, and that's been kind of tough. How does one make friends at this age? So I went to a store for the first time this past week. It's called Ocean State Job Lot, and uh, they have many things at Ocean State Job Lot, but one of the things that they had was tea. They had this Irish tea. I don't know if I can have you see it without pouring it on the ground. Ah! Third category is hobbies. 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 And uh, I've been killing it in the hobby game. I've been doing so well. I've been getting out and playing my saxophone so much. And it's freaking great, yo. It's great to be playing music again like that. Like I subbed in a bunch for my college pep band this week. <laughs> And then uh, they came to a jazz gym that I usually go to. That was pretty great. <laughs> Plus, and I've been saving the biggest thing for last, I kind of joined a church. They're a Universal Unitarian Church, which is like the best kind of church in the world. And get this, they have a transgender choir, right? So then I went to a rehearsal for the big church choir, and that was fantastic! So the last time I sung in a choir was before I started uh, taking testosterone, so my voice was a good, like, alto level, right? Now, I get to sing with the bass section. The bass section is awesome. There's, like, this g cool camaraderie thing going on, and I feel very, like welcomed into a male space, which is like really cool. Plus with the singing and the note reading and the awesome director, it's just been like a great thing that's happening. All right, that's all for this week. Happy spring, everybody, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, I've been driving, I've been driving for so long. I've been driving long enough to make this song. And I can't wait to get home. I said I wanna go home. Ba do ba do ba do.